I'm Knight and I'm going away for a few nights, which I'm very excited about. This time next week, I'm going to be in Paris. I'm heading to Disneyland Paris. I'm going via Eurostar and I'm staying in an amazing Airbnb. It is going to be unbelievable. So the vlogs, they're on their way. Make sure you subscribe because they're going to be good. The last time I went to Disneyland Paris was actually in 2020. It was in the winter of 2020, very, very early on in the year. It was actually February time and it was super, super, super cold. It was very wet. I'm <laughs> being joined by a puppy. Um, it was super wet, I'll insert a picture of the weather, but we still had such a good time and we ended up bringing our own packed lunches because <laughs> because there were very few options to eat. So I thought that you guys could watch me pack today. We're gonna pack together and I'm also gonna tell you what I'm most excited for. It is gonna be so much fun. I can't wait. I'm spending two days in the parks. I'm going via Eurostar and I'm also staying in an amazing Airbnb. It's gonna be so good. Eva's also going on her holidays, so she's gonna have the best time, but I'm gonna miss her so much, honestly. When you go away and you have a pet, you feel so guilty. You feel so guilty. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. If you had a choice, would you prefer to go on Space Mountain or Big Thunder Mountain? She's so cute. Look at her little face. Hello. Hello. Oh my God, so cute. Literally so cute. Okay, so first things first, we are starting off with a little suitcase with some swivel wheels. This is my old trusty. It's a nice small red one. However, I'm only going for four days. That includes traveling there and back. I'm going on the Tuesday, coming back on the Friday, and there's two days in the park. So I shouldn't need that much. However, as you can see, <laughs> this isn't even all of my stuff. There is still more to go. So this might be a little bit ambitious. Now we're gonna start with the essentials and that is warm clothing. Now this is not a time for fashion. Um, honestly, it's so cold in Disneyland at the moment. It is gonna be March, mid-March when we go. And honestly, March is a bit of an unpredictable one, but Parisian weather is very similar to English weather and right now English weather is horrendous. So we're starting with this super cute embroidered jumper which I got for my birthday, that is from Etsy. Love that and super, super warm and cozy. I've also got a nice, super thick, warm shirt. This is actually from Primark. I bought it in a bigger size and let me tell you, this is amazing. It's so soft, I wear it all the time. Really, really love it. Um, alongside that, I'm gonna be packing a load of other clothes. I won't go through all of those with you because honestly, it's just gonna be like thick leggings and lots of comfy tops and things like that to be honest um frankly i'm going to be wearing a thermal coat over the top at all times because it's going to be really wet um it's a coat from regatta which i got on sale for i think it was about 80 pounds but it was down from 260 pounds you can put a power bank in the pocket just like this one here and it will have heated pads in the in like the back and the front it's amazing. If you get really cold, if you have chronic pain, I would recommend take a look at the regatta website. So alongside that, we also have some berets. <laughs> These are from Primark. Now, to be honest with you, I feel like I'm probably going to end up wearing my thick beanie hat most of the time because these are just not going to cover my ears. But when in France, you've got to have a beret. So I am taking them. Luckily, they're quite small. So if I don't actually end up wearing them, it's not the biggest loss, but I would like to at least wear them for some pictures. I've also got this super soft scarf as well, which is absolutely essential because when I say it gets cold, it gets cold. And when you're spending, you know, a really long time in the parks, the last thing you want to be is cold and miserable. Now, the next thing we need is the essentials. We need Mickey ears. However, I'm only gonna be in the parks two days. So I need to really whittle it down. I really wanna bring these Fantasia ones because this brings me so many throwback feels from when I was a kid going to Disneyland Paris. And those are some of my fondest memories. So I think the Fantasia ears have to come. Now I do have a couple of these like scrunchies which are gonna come in handy as well. I think I'm gonna allow myself to bring maybe one or two scrunchies along too. This one is actually one from the parks from when I was a kid. This is a fully retro <laughs> Minnie Mouse, uh, which looks slightly horrifying when you think of it, but um, she's super cute. So I might have to bring her along for another outing because I've had her probably about 20, maybe more than that, 20 years or so, maybe 22, so. I've had her a really long time, so maybe I'm gonna bring her, probably not the poison apple ones, 
maybe maybe the Fantasia one. I'm going to bring the Fantasia one and Mini. Now, for the second park, so I'm going to probably wear this one to the main Disney park. I really want to bring the Sully ears. However, it's meant to be really wet and I feel like this is not going to work well with that, unfortunately. So I think I'm going to have to leave these behind. Also, they are quite big, so I think we'll probably leave those. And the aerial ones I love so much and I always get so many compliments. As you can see, they have broken a few times, um, but I always fix it with a hot glue gun and it's not too much of a problem. But do I bring the aerial ones or do I bring the porgs? I am tempted to bring the porgs purely because this is actually, um, these ones are from Etsy um, and these ones are homemade as well, not by myself, um, but it means that they're on a really nice light band. Um, and so the less pressure, the better on my head, I find. Like I find some of the mini ears, like these ones are on a really thick, sturdy band and they can really give you a headache. They're also super heavy, whereas these are very light. So I'm torn. I don't know. I might have to do a vote on Instagram or something for whether I bring Ariel or whether I bring Porg. But let's get rid of these two. We don't need these. Already whittling down. So I feel like this is still far too many pairs of ears considering I'm going for two days, but it's fine. Next up, I do have this little bag. However, I actually don't think that I'm going to take it because I just don't think I'm going to have a time to wear it because it's firstly very impractical. You can't actually fit your phone in it and it is amazing, but I'm not going clubbing in Disneyland. So I think that's got to stay behind as well. Next up, we've got a hand warmer, which is also a battery pack. Very handy. Going to take that along so I can keep myself warm. Um, like I said, I can also put this in my coat as well. I do have a heated coat, so I can put that in the pocket and it can warm up my coat as well. So that is nice. So I'm going to bring that along as well. Then we have hair curlers. These are my old trusty. Um, they are really on their last legs. They are falling apart, but um, they are fantastic. So I'm gonna take these ones. I, um, I always get asked which hair curlers I use. So everything on it has rubbed off apart from this logo. So if you know what this logo is, please tell me down below because I have no idea. Um, but I know that I got these at least 10 years ago. Um, so they really are my old faithful and I don't even know if they sell them anymore. But if you recognize that logo, please let me know because I would love to try and buy another pair because like they are literally falling apart up here. Like I have to <laughs> force them closed, which is not great. So um, yeah, if you know what it is, tell me please. Now we got rid of one bag, but we've got to have a lounge fly. So I think I'm going to go for the Enchanted Tiki Room lounge fly. Just because I got this at Christmas and I am not going to be going back to Walt Disney World for a little while um, as much as I would love to. So I think I'm going to take a little bit of Walt Disney World with me to Disneyland Paris. So I'm going to take the Enchanted Tiki Room and I'm going to pack some of the items into here so that I'm making good use of the space. On the subject of bags, last time I went to Disneyland Paris, I took this little bum bag. Um, I don't know why I went for such vivid colours, but it was so useful. Let me tell you, it was just infinitely useful to have all of my essentials on me at all times. Um, but I think I'm gonna take this black one because <laughs> it blends in more with my coat. Um, so I'm gonna take this one and this is gonna have hand sanitizer in it. It is gonna have my phone. It is gonna have my purse. It is gonna have um, euros and change. And it's probably gonna have my battery pack and also my camera in there as well. Now I'm gonna see whether or not that all fits in there, but hopefully it does. So that's what's gonna go in there. Another very boring but sensible thing that I'm gonna take is this, which is a little bag, which just turns into a, a bigger shopping bag. So now on the first day we go there, we're actually gonna go straight on the train to Val de Europe once we've checked into our Airbnb so that we can go to the shopping center because I am gluten-free, I am celiac and no offense to France, but they do not cater for allergies well, at least not in Disneyland Paris. In Walt Disney World, they cannot do enough for you. There is gluten-free stuff everywhere. It is a wonderland. You can get churros and fried chicken and it's just incredible. Everywhere you go, there's multiple options and it's things that you normally can't get ever. In Paris, it's a different story, unfortunately. It is very difficult to get anything gluten-free and most of the restaurants over there in Disneyland Paris, they will not really cater anything for you. Now, one word of advice, they do have 
something, I can't remember what exactly what it's called. It's like an allergy meal that you can have. But this is all of the allergies. They take out every possible allergen, which means you effectively get given baby slop. And I've had this before. They charge you the same amount as they would for a normal meal. So you'll be paying upwards of like 30 euros for this meal. And it is literally just a microwaved bit of baby slop. It is in a plastic container that they put in the microwave and it is mush and it's disgusting. It's completely flavorless. It tastes like some sort of like regurgitated just bread or something. It's, it's disgusting. And um, now I haven't had this recently. I had this when I was a child and my parents were just horrified because they really wanted to include me in the meals. And so we went for a sit down meal and I had this and they were like, oh my God, you can't eat that. That's horrible. They all tried it and they're like, that's disgusting. Um, and I thought that maybe Disneyland Paris would have improved since then. However, I have been informed that that is exactly what they serve still to this day if you want allergy free food, which is such a shame because that was over 20 years ago and it is still exactly the same now. So that is a real shame. and. It's very hard to get anything gluten-free in Disneyland Paris. If you do find something gluten-free, it is by chance. All of this to say, I'm going shopping. So I'm taking a shopping bag. I'm going to go to Val Europe. Again, it's still quite hard to find gluten-free things in there, which is why I'm bringing some of my own food. And I would recommend you do the same. Okay, so first thing I'm going to say, I'm not bringing all of these chocolate bars, but I am going to decant some of these so that I have a couple of these for each day. They're just small bars. I got these off Amazon. I will link them down below. So feel free to check those out. They have them in a couple of flavors. Um, it's literally just like Rice Krispie treats. Love those. Um, I've also bought this, which is basically a Mars bar. This is also vegan as well. This is called a Caramel Nougat Chocky Bar from Buttermilk. Again, really, really, really good. Um, if you haven't had a Mars bar in a very long time and you're gluten-free, those are amazing. Or if you're vegan, those are amazing. I've also got these five chocolate coated cake slices, which I'm going to take into the parks so that I have a sweet bit of something while I'm in the parks. On that note, I also have some of these, which are basically like gluten-free Biscoff bars. Um, these you can find in like B&M and Home Bargains and places like that. You can often find those. Um, again, just nice little chocolate bars, quick things to eat while you're in the queue and all that stuff as well. And then for the things which are slightly slightly more meal like so those are more snacks we then have these rice pots so i've got two katsu curry rice pots i got these from tesco and then i also got a curry noodle pot from tesco as well now these i'm going to take with a thermos of um hot water and then when we want them throughout the day mark's got some as well but they're his aren't gluten free um, we're just gonna pour some hot water in and have them in the parks make sure you take some cutlery along as well also it obviously saves you money as well taking your own food into the park and disneyland paris are completely okay with you doing that one place i would recommend going to is cafe hyperion which is in discovery land because they have this massive arena of seating that you can sit down in and have your rice pot in the warmth and you can go and get food in there as well, but I don't think they do really any gluten-free options. So if there's people in your party that wanna go get a burger or something, you can have that and you can go sit in at Cafe Hyperion and just sit down in the warmth with this and enjoy. I've also bought a bunch of rolls as well. Um, rolls and of course French baguettes because we're going to France. Um, we're actually staying in an Airbnb that's got a kitchen which is brilliant. So we're gonna go pick up some cheese and some ham and make ourselves some like nice breakfasts and sandwiches to take to the park as well. In terms of drinks, I'm gonna be bringing along this, which is a little squash thing, which I can squeeze into um, our water bottles and it's just apple and blackcurrant, nice and simple. And in the Airbnb, they also have a Nespresso machine. So we've brought some of these holiday blend Starbucks limited edition pods uh, because that's gonna be awesome. And I joked earlier, that I'm gonna be sad that we're not gonna have frothy milk. So Mark is literally packing the milk frother and I thought he was joking. He's not joking, he's bringing the milk frother because I am a princess. So gonna have amazing coffees every morning and I'm so excited for that. Next up on the pack list, we have passports. I've just put them in this bag for now. Um, don't really need to do that. However, I guess, you know, it's waterproof, but passports very handy medication don't forget to bring your medication i'm also going to bring painkillers as well and i've got my little bag of 
camera bits and pieces. Um, a few things are currently on charge, but camera bits and pieces for the camera that, well, for you guys, you're welcome. And then I have my toiletries bag, which again, does not have all my toiletries in yet. Um, my mom actually got me this. I think she got it from a charity shop or something, but it's so handy because if anything leaks, it all stays in here. And I actually think that this was originally sold with like underwear in or something, but it's so useful for liquids. I actually need to organize it because right now it's a complete mess, but we've got hand sanitizer. Um, we've got some stuff for my hair. We've got um, SPF foundation, some shower gel. Um, what's this? This is Mark's conditioner. Um, this is an SPF spray, which was from Florida. But to be honest, I don't think I'm going to need that to top up my SPF in the day, not in France. Uh, we've got some, um, some hand wipes, which you can also use to wipe down tables. They kill bacteria. So very handy on the Eurostar or if we're eating on a table or something. We have a little moisturizer. We have, um, I've got some hairspray for like um, heated tools. And that's pretty much that, to be honest. Okay, now it's time to pack it all up and see if it fits. Bearing in mind, I still need to find most of my clothes and put those in there because that is currently lacking. I also need to print out all of the paperwork for the Eurostar and the Disney tickets and all of that, just in case, you know, just in case. Always good to print those off. I'm such a mum. I'm also going to be packing my iPad as well so that I can do a little bit of work while I'm over there if I need to but I'm not gonna take my laptop on this trip. I would normally take that, but I'm not planning on needing to do too much work, but the, the iPad and the phone should hopefully suffice. Let's get packing. I forgot to mention, I do have some packing cubes, so I'm gonna be putting my clothing in there just to help keep everything organized and keep them compact, I guess. this top because this top and this beret is an absolute look it might make me look ridiculously pink um, and ridiculously red but you know what I'm going with it anyway god knows when I'm gonna wear this but I'm taking it pain relief tools that I'm packing um, so I do suffer from chronic pain so I have to bring things with me because otherwise it's not gonna be good so first things first I have a neck savior which helps to decompress my spine around my neck which is useful just a piece of foam so nice and easy to pack next thing we have one of these which helps again to help with your neck pain this thing is a little bit harder to pack however I do find that it is necessary so it's coming with me everywhere I go and last but not least I have a spiky ball which is super good for the knots in my shoulders again super useful it's coming with me <laughs> to the 
Sorry, what do you mean all the clothes? You're going for four days. And what and one of those days you'll be wearing the clothes. Three days worth of clothes you need to pack. <laughs> How do you need that much space? I have so th this that's an outfit. Right. That's one day. That's another outfit. That's two days. Um, and then this goes on top for when I'm chilly. But you're not you're gonna be wearing one of them. On the, on the first day, right? So. Oh, so there's more than. Oh, well, yeah, but that's. I need three days of. Three days. Yeah, so I need all of that. And I've got fluffy socks on all the time, that's why I'm doing. Ooh! So when this goes out, we'll be in Disneyland Paris. Yes. And cold. Very cold. And as you can see, my bag it's already so full and there's barely anything in there. So mm. I've got fluff in my face. <laughs> and you're taking an even smaller suitcase as well. Yeah, but I don't need. I mean, what a couple of shirts. A couple no. of shirts. I can get away with one pair of pants. Yeah, but what about my feet? No, not, not <laughs> yeah, but don't just. What are you saying? Yeah, but no. Our pants, socks, shirts, good as gold. And then I'll chuck the food in there. I think I think we're gonna need a bigger suitcase. I no, just don't wanna not. I don't wanna take a big suitcase around, oh, but we're not we're literally not. Especially as we're not going a direct train to Disneyland Paris, we're doing the one which is via Lille. Exactly. Why would we wanna take a massive case? Well, it's not a neat it's not that we want to, it's that we need to. No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, right, what are you most looking forward to? Not, top top three things. Not carrying a big suitcase. <laughs> uh, um, seeing Avengers Campus. Yeah. That's gonna be fun. Uh, going on Pirates of the Caribbean because when we were in Walt Disney World, we were on the ride there and going, and we were just sort of saying to each other. This isn't as good as the it's Paris one. It's not as good. And it's my favourite ride. So it'd be interesting to see what our um, thought process is now. Now we can actually compare them. Yeah. I'm excited about um, that. Unfortunately, Big Thunder Mountain is closed when we go. And yeah. that's obviously like one of the best rides of all time. And it is better in Disneyland Paris than it is in Walt Disney World. Yeah. And they only announced it like a week ago that it's closed for this month, which is so furious. And so is Crush's Coaster, I which know. we wanted as well. That's, up, that's the only ride that we didn't, that when we were in Walt Disney World, I was like, the only ride it's missing that would just really put the cherry on top was Crush's Coaster. Mm. So I'm gutted that we don't have that. However, we do have the two new Avengers rides. Yeah. One of which was basically just Rock and Roller Coaster, but it's now Avengers Flight Force. Yeah. So... I'm not sure if we're going to enjoy that because Rock and Roller Coaster over in America was a bit head rattly. Uh, uh, yeah, it wasn't the worst way. Like, I found um, Space Mountain mm. to be worse for that. I'll be interested to see what Space Mountain is like in Paris because, yeah. again, never been on that. People say it's completely different. They say yeah. that the one in Paris is like a proper roller coaster. And it's got like much nicer restraints and things. And it's like they've got the ones that come down over your head. Like, it's completely different. Yeah. So, I've never been on the one in Paris. Neat, yeah, me neither. So I'm excited for that. Okay, so Avengers Campus. Yeah. What are the other two? Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, and, um, oh, uh, 
I don't really know. I've put him on the spot here because I didn't want him there. I was going to ask No. Him. <laughs> I don't really know. Like, I think just generally just being there again is kind of cool. Like, it, it I, before 2020, I I hadn't been, I'd been once for work. Um, so 2020 was my, is my, really my only experience of, of, of enjoying And it was park. torrential rain and I got really ill. I got flu when I was there. Mm. So I'm hoping, uh, hoping not to get ill again. That would be fun. Yeah. But I, I don't know, I just, yeah, just doing that. And also we'll be with friends, so I'm looking mm, forward to that. That's going to be so nice. It's going to be so, so nice. I've never gone to Disneyland Paris or any of the Disney parks with friends before, so that's going to be awesome. I can't mm. wait for that. Yeah, I think I think that's it. Um, I'm actually excited to have our little pack, pack lunches as well. Mm, it's kind of become a tradition now. And I was I talked massively about how limited the options are there. So I was saying I'm probably going to do a video when we're over there for like the gluten-free options in Disneyland Paris. And we'll, or lack thereof. Or lack of. Or, and what you can do to still have a really good time. Because I think, I genuinely think what we did with the um, rice pots that we got here and, and, and the other stuff, I think it kind of makes it really cool. We take the sort of little thermos of hot water in it. I, would, I mean, you'll see it, I'm sure. Yeah. But um, it's, it's cool. I like it. But please let us know down below what you want us to film when we're over there, um, whether you want any specific videos or just whether you want vlog videos. Um, let us know because I will be able to read those while I'm in Disneyland Paris Park. So I will read those and I will try and do my best to film all of the things that you want within reason. I have a feeling one of the things is going to be Mark eating a sausage. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this. I can't wait to go to Disneyland Paris. I still don't feel like I'm all packed by any stretch of the imagination but I'm so so excited and the vlogs will be coming soon so please let me know what you're excited for for me to capture on film is it the food is it the rides is it the characters what do you want to see pop that down in the comments and if you want to come find me on the internet I go live on twitch five days a week I'm also on twitter and youtube and instagram I realize we are youtube but I have another youtube channel um all of the things tiktok everything and I'll put up all the links below in the I want to say doobly do. If you get that reference, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. You say goodbye. You say goodbye. Eva does not say goodbye. She doesn't want you to leave. <laughs> Bye.